Hi, this is Todd Kelting. This is another episode of Tuesdays with Todd, the video edition where we are this week putting the pieces together on the concept of the absolute judgment. Most judgments for non-payment of rent in Maryland are what we call redeemable judgments. What that means is that the tenant has the right to pay you the amount of the judgment and stay in the apartment or pay you before court the amount that you've sued them for and stay in the apartment. In most counties, with the exception of Baltimore City, the fourth judgment that's entered in a 12-month period, and it's a rolling 12-month period, it's not January to December, it's whenever the first judgment starts to whenever the last judgment is entered. The fourth judgment in a 12-month period is what we call a non-redeemable or absolute judgment. In Baltimore City, the reason it's different is because it requires a fifth judgment to be entered before a non-redeemable judgment is entered. The non-redeemable judgment gives you as the landlord a great deal of leverage to get the outstanding rent paid. It used to be when I would talk to clients that I would tell them that if a tenant has had four judgments entered in a 12-month period, they've pretty well demonstrated that they can't afford to live at your property. But as the economy changes and it gets harder to find good and better tenants to replace the tenants who are slow payers, it's important to keep in mind that sometimes evicting the person who has a judgment absolute but can pay you might not be as beneficial as it used to be. And replacing that tenant might be harder than it used to be. But the absolute judgment does give you the right to move forward with the eviction even if the tenant pays you every dollar of rent that's owed on the judgment or rent that is paid that comes due after the judgment is entered. It gives you a great deal of leverage. It's important also to remember that if a non-redeemable judgment has been entered and you intend to move forward with an eviction on that judgment, you don't have to file another lawsuit. So my whole three-step process, sue every tenant that you should every month that you can for every dollar of rent that you don't already have a judgment for, that falls away as soon as you get a judgment absolute that you intend to evict on because at this point you can't do better. And as much as I like getting paid to file suits, you don't need to pay me to file a lawsuit that's no longer necessary. That's this week's episode of Tuesdays with Todd.